this fall. The brightest minds in finance will flock to Florida for a weekend that will change your life with insights from the brightest stars in the financial universe and an event that will bring them all together. Presenting the first annual T3 Live Finance Festival at the Mayfair Hotel and Spa in Coconut Grove, Florida for a weekend you'll never forget and memories that will last a lifetime. The Finance Festival, a Todd Harrison production, brought to you by T3 Live and TradeStation. A portion of the proceeds to benefit the Ruby Peck Foundation for Children's Education and the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. Friday, November 6th, Sunday, November 8th, 2015. Bring your spouse, tell your friends, make some noise, and take charge of your financial future. It's gonna be nuts! Space is limited, so act fast. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's Daily Recap. I'm Evan Lazarus. I'm CEO of T3 Live, and it is Friday, October 30th. Uh, as we head into the Halloween weekend, um, the market has continued to dominate uh, by way of fooling most, uh, breaking down here, snapping back, um, and it's been a series of wild rides, uh, uh, if you would, in that um, you know the market has continued to fool the bears, fool the fool the bull, the bulls, um, and you know. It, it, we continue to ride this roller coaster up, down, up, down, lots of changes of directions. Um, and, and a lot of it coming without much, uh, uh, much advanced notice. I guess that's the best way to say it. Um, so we have to look at the entire structure, uh, not just the day to day. Um, and we have to make, you know, decisions about what the possibilities are and why, you know, as we look at the weekly chart, the thing that you know stands out to me in this chart is that you know you have this multi-month um, range, which we got a large breakdown. We then have you know uh, essentially corrected, um, and we are now back into this area where you know we built, we spent a lot of time building overhead. So I would say the market at this point, after a you know five weeks straight up, uh, and even if you look at the candlestick of what was this week you know, a little bit of slowing of momentum. That's really what this, you know, this week told us. We saw a little bit higher, we saw a little bit lower, kind of closing not too far off of, of where we opened the week. So not a big change, but that shouldn't be a surprise as we have, you know, like I said, you know, launched over the last five weeks. Um, and it has been pretty much straight up. As we, as we look at the daily, you can see a little more detail here as, you know, we, we, we zoom in and, and, and actually that's the wrong tool. Um, what I'm looking for right here, right? As we zoom in, you know, you have this uh, ascending channel here. Now, I think <clears throat> it, the market's going to have a tough time, right? If we look to the left into resistance, this is basically where we broke down um, in August. And uh, it, it's not just going to continue to go straight up. I would anticipate, you know, a bit of a pullback. I think the natural uh, level where the market will, will pull back will be somewhere into this you know, broken uh, resistance area once we broke out, you know, you got a little consolidation here and then we, we ran higher. So a pullback possibly into this area. You have the 21 EMA right here. You have the 200 EMA right here. Um, probably makes sense. So I would look for, you know, some weakness going into next week uh, or into the next, you know, two weeks, a pullback if you would. And if we hold here, you know, then the, then the possibility exists that we could then turn higher again. Um, but rather than forecasting out, um, I, I think it's best to stay focused on, you know, where the, you know, where risk is greatest uh, and, and what the possibilities are in terms of the short term. The short term has been the path to making money. Trying to go out anywhere past a week or two it has been a very, very challenging proposition. As I said, as the, as the market has continued to zig and zag, um, uh, you know, almost to the point of, of, of a year and a half. Uh, of of time you know that zig and zag you know goes back for you know you know after this consolidation you know a lot of zigging a lot of zagging so you know where are we relative to where we were uh, you know november of, of last year we're basically in the same spot you know how we got here uh has been a series of like i said ups and downs so net net the market hasn't really done anything just a lot of 
uh, you know, like I said, trickery of, of, of getting people to jump in on the short side and then, you know, trickery to getting people to jump in back on the long side. So rather than play the games, you know, it, it's just wise. To, I think it's prudent to look at this market through the lens of, you know, what the language tells us here as we look at the last couple of weeks. Um, there's no real trend in place here. Again, as I defined a trend, trend to me is a rising 21 EMA. This to me is, is, is a, um, this to me is a trend, you know, almost a 45 degree angle, you know, rising eight above a rising 21 on a weekly. As you can see here, you don't have a rising 21 uh, and you don't have an, an eight above a 21. So as much as we want to believe the last five weeks uh, you know, are, have been good, and they have, you know, if you've been able to participate in this long side, that's great. But certainly, you know, I, I wouldn't look at this through the lens of, you know, we have a new trend in place. Uh, a trend develops over a longer period of time. If we can pull back and start to turn higher, potentially, you know, we, we will see, you know, things change. Obviously, you have a massive amount of resistance right here. This is an area that was tested, you know, five, six times, uh, if not more, over the course of, uh, you know, multi-months. So it, I think it would be naive to think that we're just going to go straight up, 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 up. Um, so be prepared for, you know, but, but I believe to be possible pullback in the cards uh, in the near term going into next week. Um, and, and that's really it. I think that's the, the best way to approach it. It's, it's earnings season, still a lot of stocks set to report. Um, we saw, you know, some of the big, you know, big cap tech names, uh, come out, you know, we had, we had the Fed meeting um, earlier this week. So still lots of news driving this market in the short term. Um, and I suspect that'll continue to be the case going into the next couple of weeks. Uh, the Finance Fest is uh, very rapidly approaching. Uh, it is next weekend. So uh, not this coming weekend, but the following in Miami. And uh, uh, if you can try to get yourself down there, it's going to be an amazing weekend. I hope everybody enjoys Halloween. Happy Halloween. And I'll talk to you later.